Okay, this video is book review of Beat Cancer Daily by Chris Wark. So here's the book. Um, and this one is sort of 365 uh, pages, and each page is just uh, suggestions for the day. And it's written for cancer patients to get them through their first year of having cancer, for example. Uh, Chris Wark also wrote a previous book called... Um, Chris Beat Cancer, that was a pretty famous like uh, book. And uh, he has a YouTube channel, Chris Beat Cancer. He has his website as well, chrisbeatcancer.com. Um, and you know, he's a smart guy and he's got a lot of experience with his own experience of overcoming cancer. He was diagnosed with stage three colon cancer um, about 19 years ago and he's still, you know, alive and doing well. He became, you know, a vegan and uh, he exercises a lot. And that's a common thing I've seen in a lot of long-term survivors of advanced cancer. Um, so I think it's a good book. It's a good book to put in your bathroom. You know, I found a lot of good pages. When I read a book, if I like a page, I'll put a post-it on there or something. It's a sign to go back to it. I'll make notes in the back of a book and that sort of, I'll often use that to summarize a book. So if I want to go back to it in the future, I'll real quick look at my notes in the back. Um... What are some of the quotes? I'll just give you some examples of a few of these quotes from Chris Wark. Here's day number six. Accept total responsibility for your health. Be willing to do whatever it takes. Take a massive action. Massive action produces massive results. And key point there is when you take responsibility for yourself, it's good to blame it on yourself. It's my fault because then you could do something about it. You're in the position of power to change events versus if you just say, oh, it's bad luck, it's genetic or something, and you're all passive you're less likely to get an optimal outcome. He eats a big salad every day, and that's something also that Ruth Heydrich does. And I recently had a lecture about, is Dr. Esselstyn crazy with regard to recommending greens all day? And I'm wondering, you know, maybe he's onto something that eating more greens is increasing uh, nitric oxide and oxygen delivery to the tissues and thus helping to prevent cancer progression. Uh, that might be true. I don't know for sure, but I would bet that it probably is. Um, he has a metaphor that you're like a caterpillar going into cocoon, that you need a little, you know, your private time, peace and quiet to read and study and emerge uh, better able to respond to having cancer, uh, making yourself healthy, more resilient. And, you know, psychologically, he's correct. He kind of comes at it from a different angle, his psychology, than Kelly Turner. But they're both great at the psychology of making a person mentally strong and resilient, which, of course, improves the immune system. That's why it's so valuable. I mean, that's what I like about him. I've been around a lot of really mentally tough people, national champions, world champions, all-American wrestlers and stuff. These are people who are really mentally tough. And I sense a little of that in, in these cancer patients, the... The ones who do the best, they kind of got this attitude that helps them have a strong immune system, helps them to heal. Um, no one will ever take better care of you than you if you choose to. Okay, Chris Wark, day 43. And what I like about that, what he's basically saying is the patient has to take charge of their care. You can't just say, oh, I hope my doctor cures me. You have to help to cure yourself if you want to have a chance at the best possible results. Uh, here's Chris Wark, day 32, one of the lines. Or, by the way, there's a full page of stuff typically on most of these pages. And I'm just giving you a few lines here and there to get a sense of the spirit of the book. Okay, healing is a marathon, not a sprint. Yeah, you're not trying to do well by tomorrow. You're trying to keep on doing a little better each day so that you're still in good shape five years, 10 years, 15 years from now. Um, let's say he does talk a little bit here and there of religion and have some quotes uh, from scripture, which uh, like here's a good one from Romans 12, 21. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. And I think that's a good one that, you know, when it's possible, if somebody's being annoying, sometimes what the right thing to do is rather, instead of yelling at them for being annoying, what you do is be extra nice to them. And then they kind of, you know, come around and things are better for both of you that way. I think that's a good a good one. Romans 12, 21. Um, and then here's another one from Chris Wark. Um, this is day 123. He says, I definitely could not see the whole staircase when I took a step of faith to choose nutrition and natural therapies. And I like that quote. It reminds me of St. John Henry Newman, who lived from 1801 to 1890. And Henry Newman said this. This is his famous poem. The Cardinal Newman from the 1800s, part of that Gothic revival, English Renaissance, the um, Oxford movement. He said, lead kindly light amid the encircling doom Lead thou me on, the night is dark, 
and I am far from home. Lead thou me on, keep thou my feet. I do not ask to see the distant scene. One step is enough for me. Okay, so John Henry Newman, Cardinal Newman. Anyways, that just reminded me of sort of like the attitude of some of these quotes in this book. So I thought it was really good. So for any cancer patient, I think this will help them. It's a little bit of inspiration for each day from a guy who knows what he's doing. And I think also his, uh, I watched some of his YouTube videos. I thought they were quite good. So this is a thumbs up recommendation uh, for, for cancer patients.